Okay. Good eve or morning, afternoon. I don't know. To me, it's afternoon. I'm so used to saying good morning to these. So we will get started. Um, I tried to find something, I guess, more of the spooky season to doodle and to draw. Uh, I could not find anything. So we're going to do the next best thing. I don't want to draw something I don't really want to draw. Um, I feel like I draw like ghosts or witches and stuff like that. Unless I have an idea, then I don't think it's worth actually going for. But, um, but I'm going to do a drawing stream. And uh, the month of November is going to be mostly drawing streams with the occasional gaming stream here and there. Uh, I do have the night drives, which are probably going to be the only gaming streams of next month. Uh, that doesn't seem interesting to me. It doesn't spark a motivation to do it. I've, I've looked through all the stuff and I'm like, I can draw one of my characters in a, in a costume or whatever. But like last year, the Halloween one, the Halloween, which went for a, to a poster was, I had a creative idea for something horror themed and I did it. But this time I don't, and I don't want to force it because it makes a, it makes a bad illustration and not fun overall. So we're going to do the next best thing. It is horror themed, uh, but if you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a uh, yellow jacket and my 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 thing is not working uh, there we go yeah so my everything for the past few weeks um let me pop this back in for the past few weeks I've had issue or past few streams I've had so many issues with just stuff not working and I don't know why lots of updated but I don't, f they didn't really start bugging out until recently. So, we're just going to have to deal with it. It's just, there's many mic issues, microphone issues. And I do not understand why. Um, so we're just going to have to work with it for now. Anyway, but uh, we're going to draw a kind of a favorite. from Twisted Metal, one in black, and technically he's from Lost too, even though Lost was an un unreleased game. Um, so we're going to at least get the sketch done today because I have a lot of work to do um, today. I got a lot of stuff I want to get done today. Um, and not a whole lot of time because tomorrow is the big Halloween uh, tomorrow's the big Halloween, um, special, the second annual Halloween special last year, although I didn't post the VOD because of obvious reasons, uh, me and my brother reacted to some horror videos and some short films, and we were going to do that again this year, but, uh, he's got a new job, and he wasn't able to attend it, uh, this year, so, I think he's going to go over and hang out with my aunt for Halloween, uh, since he moved back into our hometown, so he is going to be doing that. Um, whereas I am all the way 1600 miles away, can't really do that. I always liked going over there, he was always a good time. Um, but sadly, I can't do that right now. Maybe, maybe sometime I'll go be able to take a trip down there. Cause I prefer Halloween, the month of October and and stuff, way better than Christmas. I've always been a Halloween guy, which is kind of funny that I'm not like making a big deal out of out of this drawing stream, which is supposed to be the quote unquote scary, spooky stream, spooky drawing stream, like I did last year. But uh, sometimes you just don't have don't have it in you. I've been focused on a lot more things. Um the new Project Zomboid server that I'm getting set up for Leon's stream. 
uh, I've been actually doing testing. Me and Di have been doing actual testing to see if it works well and it will stay functional a lot longer because I want to do it a lot longer. Um, so I've been trying out all the mods and it's mainly quite quality of life mods and some, some less aesthetic mods. Yeah, it's very, very, very buggy. Uh, so we're, I think we kind of got it to where it's in a really good place. We just need a little bit more testing because I, th I found yesterday was the least glitchy it has been. It's still pretty buggy, but it's not like the mods are doing the bugs. It is the multiplayer itself that is the buggy part of it. So, um, yeah, I think that is... <clears throat> Like, that is the main issue with it right now. Um, but I think, um, since that's, that we kind of diagnosed that that's kind of the main issue just with Zomboid in general because of how it is, that, um, we're gonna, um, we're just tweaking the difficulty. Because right now the difficulty is... Uh, pretty, pretty easy. It's a little bit too easy because I made a lot of changes to the progression to make it faster, like, or easier to progress. Not necessarily faster, but easier to progress than last time. Like, mechanics and stuff like that, you can just use... Well, yeah, that was that one backpack, but that's like a one-time thing and is an easy fix. Like I said, it's does not, not like I'm going to admin mode and fix stuff that happens that is just part of the part of the multiplayer experience to have somebody that can go into admin at any time and fix your fix stuff that glitches out you know um but um zomboid multiplayer as i've heard recently um has been having kind of a a lot of uh a lot of issues recently, but then again, that kind of happens. It's a, it's an unreleased, it's not fully released yet, and it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's still impressive what they're able to do with the mods and stuff like that. Like, I have to, I have to commend them for it. I don't mind it being a little bit buggy. Unless you go, you go to cook with it. Yeah, it does. Um... I still I still get the notifications on there if if something is poisonous cuz I got the herbalist. You have to hover over it, I think, but it still says it's poisonous on it. I've never had that issue. Well, well again, we'll we'll look into it. We still got like a day of testing left. I want to try to get it done tonight, get it to where it's in a good space. Um because Wednesday, I want to start planning out the some more streams and stuff like that for next month. Because the Halloween stream tomorrow is going to be a pretty pretty good one. I'm very ex very excited for what it's going to uh what it's going to be tomorrow for you guys to see what all I have well not really all I have planned I only planned one thing because uh my main thing kind of canceled at the last minute but I think I have something pretty interesting it's a game that uh I've been following for many years that recently released and uh I think uh, it's going to make a very, very interesting stream. Like, I think I'm going to have a really good time with it. Um, so, and also there's something secretive planned for the end of the stream. That's going to showcase the next, next streams going forward, the next evolution of some of the streams moving forward. So I'm hoping that uh, it works out. I've done some testing this weekend on it, and it seemed to work out pretty well. So we're going to see how well it does.
Okay, I mean, I again, I, I'll have to see. I'll show you. Uh, we'll, we'll go like foraging or something like that real quick. I'll, I'll show you. Because I remember it saying like, these are poisonous. It says poisonous on the top of there because I had the herbalist thing. So, uh, we'll see. And you played single player yesterday, so it might have bugged out with single player, but not with multiplayer. Unless you did a multiplayer server test on it. So, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. We got some things to work out. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's it's not. We'll figure it out. It's not the end of the world. But I want to go in. Gonna go into this character right here. I like this idea for the character in black the most, because in in Twisted Metal, uh, Yellow Jacket was kind of a. He's just a New Yorker. He's a. This is a yellow cab. The checkered cab. Uh, rest in peace. But it was just a, he's just a, a, a New York taxi driver that I, th I can't remember what his wish was, um, but he wanted to do something. I know, genius. Um, he wanted to do something, but he was Charlie Kane, which is if you know. Um, the uh, the mascot of the franchise, Sweet Tooth himself, is also named uh, Kane. His last name is Kane. I think it's Thomas Kane. Charlie Kane. Charlie Kane is him. He is Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket is Charlie Kane. And um. And uh, he was the father of Sweet Tooth originally. I don't know if that was canon or not, but. That's kind of how it was with him. So it's a very, very interesting thing. And Sweet Tooth wasn't as popular um, as he is now with the face of the franchise and anything at the time of the very first games released. But he was, he was pretty interesting. I like it, like it that it was kind of like it makes sense for it to be there at the time in the '90s because he was a taxi cab. And New York is always is meant is known for being very aggressive. So it just kind of made sense for him in that in that regard. I mean, this is what he was in the original game. He was just an old taxi driver. Um, but what really drew me to the character was in down here was in Twisted Metal Black. Um, because he was a little different in Twisted Metal Black. He was still driven technically by Charlie Kane. But uh, he was killed by like the Mafia or something. Um, and he, he was... Uh, piloted by his kid. I think it's like seven or eight year old kid. But he w wasn't actively piloted by his seven year old kid. He was piloted by his uh, Charlie Kane's dead body. So what the kid did, he was a, he was a, like a, a mastermind electronics. He uh, basically made a radio control controller and put it into his dead father and uses that to kind of like an RC car control a big death machine of his old father's uh, taxi and I think although pretty screwed up was like the most creative thing like probably one of the most creative you know horrifying yes but one of the most creative like twisted metal vehicles and since, like, Twist Metal Black is, like, more horror-based in this game, like, the stories and stuff are very horror-based, a lot of them are pretty cool. Uh, don't get me wrong. That's where Sweet Tooth got his... I think his, uh... I think it's the first time he had his flame hair. Or made it more prominent. 
Um, but I just, I don't know, I just really like that. Like that, a very dark and disturbing aspect of it. A lot of people didn't. A lot of people saying it's a little bit too much. But I think it was very fun and very creative. Um, and very on point for what the series was at the time. Which was very scary and horror. So, I don't know. I liked it. But, like, having, like, his his uh, seven-year-old kid or whatever drive his dead father's corpse around like an RC car, it's pretty funny, if you really think about it. Very ridiculous. But I think I think it's I think it's really cool. That's just me though. Yeah, it is really cool. Story wise, um, Yellow Jacket was actually I think in Black he was a pretty good pretty good character to drop play as. I think I know Sweet Tooth was like the best character in the game. Um, but I think he was it was pretty he was pretty interesting to play. Um. In the first game, he was not too special. He was just a taxi cab with machine guns and had rockets on the top of it. Like this, this is the original artwork, concept art, right here of Yellow Jacket from the original game. He had like a turret on the top of it. I think it's really cool. Hey, Leon, how's it going? But uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of like this uh, design. I think it's really, 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 really cool. I kind of want to mimic both designs, both the yellow cab and the uh, and the black version of it. Oh, but uh, yeah, these uh, twist metal stickers have been going, getting very, very basically our our top sellers for this year. So I'm glad people like them. ordering something why don't you cook something it's fun and cheap unless you're like me who doesn't like to cook <laughs> I like being creative you okay so he wanted to do something all right uh, there's a clip there there's a clip there of my brain just cutting off, probably. A salad. I don't know what you have. I don't know. Maybe you got a refrigerator that has some, like, I, from, some food in it. I don't know. I don't got a, you have a microwave? <laughs> he put some I don't know like our uh, the paint store has a microwave and a uh, refrigerator some some people like bring their like spaghettios and open up the can throw it in a bowl that they bring or like they bring food from home that they warm up I don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Uh, you cook in a microwave you can warm up things in a microwave I don't know to me like as a person who literally lived off of like dollar store ramen and spaghettios for five years of his life because he can barely afford to live when he moved out of his parents house finally like that is that is technically cooking for me <laughs> I know it's not the greatest but it is technically cooking. I said cook something. Yes. That's the first thing where it says I'm hungry. And I want, but I'm going to, I was thinking about ordering something like don't order, cook something or fix something at home first. And if you don't see anything, then you go, you go and, and get something. But then, then you're like, oh, I'm at work. Like, 
You have a microwave? Did you bring it? I don't know. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's the way to think. Think like a broke college kid. That's how I. <laughs> that's how I think. That's why I'm. I'm not really bothered when I have to have like super cheap food most of the time. But it is a. It is a. But yeah, that that is that is part of my life. I hope never happens again. Because as much as I don't, I like ramen. I like ramen with actual flavor. That's not from a packet. Uh, how am I gonna do this? And I'm doing the sketch layer, so I can just be some, be funny with it. Just put some lines there. And then put right here. I don't know, order a pizza or something. I I tend to kinda of have a disdain for like DoorDash. I don't know what you what you or or Uber Eats or whatever. I don't know what you use to order food. If you're gonna just order a pizza or something. I kinda of have a disdain for it because it's so expensive. So, oh, like unnecessary expensive. I don't think this works out. All right, so how was your weekend, Leon? So you're doing a bunch of speed running, but that's, I think that's kind of every weekend. Yeah, I know. He's a, he's an he's an avid speedrunner of the Rainbow community, which is good. Trying to figure out a good cuz I don't want to do just the two bars or just the standard grill. I want to do something a little bit different. Maybe yeah, we'll keep it like that. We'll keep it like that for now. We'll come back to it. I think I think I made him mad. <laughs> he left us out under the stain. He's like, God dang it. Why? You do there we go. Um, can't wait for tomorrow's stream. Hopefully, it doesn't explode on me. That'll be. Well, actually, it'd be kind of fun. Actually, be really in tune with everything. How this stream, how my streams usually go.
Huh. I'm thinking of should I put the big uh, cannon on the side of it? I mean, that would be really cool. Uh, but I don't know if that would be feasible because the man's got to get out of the car, but he can also get out through the window. I don't know. Yeah. So I might I might add it. I'm gonna finish the his original his little design first. Good do. At least the wheels would probably be a little bit easier. This guy. Just simple. Oh. Ah! Oh, get. God dang it. Ugh. I hate when it does this. I don't want it all over the screen. Nope. Nope. Alright, whatever. It's just going to be a big screen then. Alright, so... What was it? Here. It's not Twitch stuff. It's in... I can't remember where it's in. I thought it was in... Stickers? No. Prints? No. Oh, I hate this so much. Yeah, I think they give you an option down there at the bottom and it just vanishes. Whatever. Uh, I don't remember where it... Since sketches, no. Uploads, no. I can't remember where... There it is, stickers. I always get it, get it lost. Illustration clip, this is Yellow Jacket. Cool. I hate it. I guess I can never get it back down too small anymore. I guess it's kind of done. All right. Uh, try to make do with the. That's not a full circle. Uh, suck at drawing circles. More of a polygonal guy. But it is challenging to do stuff like this. Oh. Like the rims on there is just it's just a it's just very basic. It's no decoration. Makes stuff a lot easier for me. Cause again it's it's meant to be a battle machine at the end of the day. It's not meant to be pretty. So I'll probably will do kind of the same thing, but we're going to tweak it a bit. Combine that together. It doesn't have to be perfect, but...
Let's see if we can just move this back around. All right. There we go. I think it looks like a yellow jet. Yellow uh, looks like yellow jacket. Cause I like this design of the car the best, but I also like this one too. Kind of keep them with both of them. So. but like a little dun, dun, dun. So anybody got good plans for Halloween this year? Anything special? Anything cool? Like people are going to legally abandoned buildings? And try to ghost hunt? Remember I used to do that on Halloween? Yeah, yesterday we went clothes. You get well, we went clothes shopping. You didn't get necessarily a costume. I mean, they had the jacket that I got yesterday. So that they didn't have a costume, but you can turn anything into a costume. If you try hard enough. Maybe if I take this out, because I want to do the gun on the top, but I kind of want to implement it into the traditional taxi symbol that's on the top of these checker cabs. I think that'd be really neat. No, I ain't going to be anybody. Well, my character might be changing a bit tomorrow, but me, myself, as a person, no one's going to be able to see it, so I ain't dressing up for Halloween. Like, I like Halloween. I don't like dressing up for it. I do like, uh, I do like, uh, when I did cosplay one time. I thought that was really fun. That very, that one single time I did. One time I did.
Those are pea shooters. Let's make these cannons a little bit more meaty. I do have to say these these right here are doing slight redesigns are my own vert uh per, my own uh take on these characters of like one of my favorite series growing up. It's uh it's a lot of fun. Actually. I could just do it the cheat way and just do it that. And then that's done. And go here and just erase all the stuff right here. And just keep it. There. Boom. Simple, fast, and efficient. So I have the two cannons and I'm going to probably move I gotta write on it first. I probably write it in this, it's a lot bit better. Oh. Actually it's a little bit it's like kind of in the middle. And it's not that. And it's like it's got stuff written over here and the stuff written over here. I'll see. I'll fix it up once we get to final finalization. But I just want to get the idea out. And then we have it like that. Just bloop. Probably uh, go through and probably make it shrink it a bit more. Yeah, we're going to shrink it a little bit more so it fits comfortably on the top of the gun. Because it is a uh, interpretation, or it's, 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 yeah, it's interpretation, but there's many words with it. Yeah, I mean, it still looks like the character when people who play these games see it, they'll know that that is that character. That's kind of what I want them to do, but it's like slightly altered. It's got kind of representation of all the designs of the past, of the of the of them of their characters from the past games, um, but turned into one. But you know, I'm I'm hoping people enjoy it at least. And I've get I've gotten a few requests from people of of which ones to do, and I'm doing every single character that's ever been in there, or at least one version of it. Not all the versions, but just one version of the character. So I got to make sure these look the part. They look like they're version of the they look like their characters but they're not like bait they're not like like this is the twisted metal head-on version of it this is the twisted metal black version of it it's just this is yellow jacket that is sweet tooth this is you know you know in the future axel twister and mr slam and all that they're they're that is just that is the character the only one I'm pro I'm able I'm gonna do versions of, um, is um, is Warthog, because he has two very completely opposite versions of him, and I technically could take both those and combine them into one, but I don't think it would go over very well. I'm afraid. I can try it. Maybe it'll go over very well. Maybe it won't. So. We, we shall see in due time. 
We shall see. Although a little bit, they could be a very interesting version of them. But he again, they're so distinct that I think I just do one version of it now and then the other version after I get everybody else done. But uh, I've gotten I've gotten um I got requests to do Spectre, which I've done. Uh, Pizza Boy from Four, which is a fan favorite, oddly enough, even though that game is guarded as one of the worst. I don't think it's that bad, but people do. Um, I've gotten requests to do Axel, which is he's coming in the first part of the when I start the second game, because right now I'm doing the ones from the first game, and then I'm gonna work my way to the ones from the second game, and so on and so forth. Uh, I don't know. I think that I see the only three that have gotten requests to do so far. Yeah. I mean, like, he's a fan favorite in the Twisted Metal community that when he popped up in the TV show, people are like doing that Do you learn Leonardo DiCaprio meme where he's pointing at the TV. Where it's like, I know that. There's quite a few people. It's not just the one request we got. It's uh, quite a few people. Um, but he is going to be the first one I do when I hit four. He's going to be the first one I do. Because I like, again, he's a pizza delivery guy. I like I like the idea of him and how, like, just complete 90s he is. Um, okay, so anything else I want to add to this build of him? Put some like bolts there and uh she's talking about the jacket i bought yesterday or i got yesterday or technically she got it for me or helped me buy it even though i said not to um i got a jacket that i've been trying to find that's not twelve hundred dollars um forever and it is not the replica of it but it is Leon S. Kennedy's jacket from the f original one four original four not six from four um but I couldn't find one for a decent price and I wasn't going to pay like five hundred dollars for it or twelve hundred dollars for it but I did get a uh, I did get a jacket that looks like it but without all the belts from four but I like it I can't wait to actually start wearing it which is gonna be relatively soon because it is cold outside now yeah I can I can just add the belts it does have the loops on it I can't add the belts if I want to but eh, I like the simplicity of it I don't like it with all the belts that's why I don't really like his uh, Resident Evil 6 is like Adidas looking jacket <laughs> with like anime style belts on it. I mean, you can get one. I got it at Kohl's. They had it on sale. It was still expensive. Don't get me wrong. It's still expensive. But they had it on sale for like $96. Uh, it's originally like a like 160 So you can... You can it's a this expensive as hell, but I mean it's it's a it's his it's a jacket that looks like his. Can't I can't really pass it up. <clears throat> I'll go broke for a month to get it. Coles, yeah. Um, Daya for her birthday got a gift card for Kohl's so we went over there and I was looking around I saw that jacket I'm like I will I will get it one day and I got it of course we uh, I think when she bought stuff she had a bunch of coupons uh, so I just took them back took all those coupons out of them together and and got it pretty it's 40 bucks, yeah. I got it for, what, $26, something like that? 
It was ninety six dollars. Um, in store originally one hundred and sixty, and I got a lot of discounts. I got it for like twenty something. But anyway, I don't care. I got the jacket. I didn't get it like an Amazon Basics version of it, which I've seen it online for like I think it's I think fifty dollars, and sometimes they go on sale for like twenty, but they fall apart after you wear it twice. Like, I wanted an actual jacket. I want to actually wear it. I don't want it as a cosplay. So. I got it for free. Yes. But I was going to pay the money for it. Uh, whether I am streaming or just chilling out on Discord, it's just everything has been just breaking with my audio settings. I think YouTube literally just broke and said, we, we are, your audio settings are just terrible. Just restart your entire computer again. But, yeah. But I don't, I don't know. It is... It's it's been a nightmare to keep that to keep my settings. I think one time Project Zomboid actually cut off and my things broke again. There. Yeah, my mic my mic settings, I do not understand why. It's just fucking breaking. I hate it. No, it's not a women's jacket. It's a men's jacket. Trust me, I, I made sure it's a men's jacket. They had a couple of women's jackets in there that are uh, were a lot cheaper. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with my freaking microphone. It's been just, I want to go in and just completely reset the audio settings and make sure the drivers are set up and everything. Because tomorrow... I'm tired of dealing with them. Oh. Yeah, I know. My audio is... For some reason, it's just cutting out. I don't understand. Everything, everything is kind of just breaking. And I don't under, I don't know why. Uh, what if I reload this? There. Yeah, and then, it, then the, uh, browser cut out. Reset that. There. That should be fine. There, there we go. Well, my audio is cutting out. My my stuff it broke. I don't get it. My audio keeps switching stuff with me. It's really pissing me off. Um. God, what was it? Spud arm, S P U D. I I got it all on off of itch I itch I I O. That works fine, but it's just my character just stopped working and it kept switching everything around and freezing and I don't know. I might have to call it here for today because it's, it's not, oh, I hate it because my audio is not working. I can hear the YouTube thing popping in the background. I don't like it. So. We're going to go on for a little bit longer. And if it starts messing up, I'm just going to call it. I I don't know what's wrong with my audio. It's been a it's been a nightmare for the past 
a uh, week or so. Ever since the, uh, ever since the uh, Windows update, I think from last week, it's just not worked. So. So, I'm gonna probably line art this and see how well it goes. Uh, well, I'm hoping it does it for tomorrow, because tomorrow I actually put actual work into, well, a little bit of work. I'm still playing a video game at the end of the day. It's not the, you know, the most creative thing in the world. But I put some work into uh, the vibe of tomorrow's stream. And I want to showcase it. And I also don't want my freaking audio to, to cut out halfway through because it's messing up. So I got to troubleshoot this today. And even then, I still won't know what's wrong. Uh, what's wrong with it? I need, I probably need to remove voice mod. I thought that was a problem, but it's not a problem at all with it anymore. It's something else. I don't even use voice mod. Alright, put that there. Uh, well, well, I'll, I'll see what I can do to figure it out. So that hopefully we have a, a nice good stream tomorrow night. Right now we're going to deal with this. Whatever this is. What if I restart it? I'm going to restart the tablet. Uh, so, put this on top of it. So you'll see a green screen. And then click it like that. And then you can put this in front of it. And then click it so it's behind it. And then we turn on the tablet. And it should mimic the movements just fine. And then game capture, which is. Let's see. Yeah, it completely broke my mic. Uh, it, it might be that. It might be out of date. Might need to uh, update it, which I don't know how to do. Cause the thing about updating stuff like that is um, you download a complete new version, you have to reset everything from the very beginning. Because it doesn't like just update in the spot and keep your settings. You have to reset everything, and I don't want to do that. But it might be the only way to fix a lot of the issues, at least with streaming. Anyway, whatever. I'm going to get back to drawing. And uh, we're just going to cut off the uh, cut off the tablet. We're just going to be just without it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not fooling with it. I just want to draw a silly little, little uh, taxi cab. And then worry about it later. I'm using the wrong pen. Okay, so.
might go and make sure make sure uh, all of the uh, drivers are up to date although it should have done that I might have to re-download them just to be sure because again I want to say it's Windows update because it started happening right after the Windows update for last week but I want to make sure it's that anyway uh let's see let's see let me get up here there there we go yeah it's uh the basic one. Um, I don't think I even, I even have another um, Halloween music, except for this one. I think this is the only one. Ugh. I like that better. Get these cannons. Do 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 do. There we go. Uh, hmm. Just says off duty, but uh, we will. I will put that in with actual letters later on. No need to do it right now. All right. There we go. <clears throat> do, 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 do. I feel like the, uh, the audio issue kind of messed up the entire vibe of the thing. So I'm trying to figure out how to get it back. Cause that is, that is a very ir irritating problem. If it happens once, that's fine, fix it, move on, but it's happened multiple times. And I have failed to fix it. To give it a complete fix every single time. And I'm not an audio guy or audio engineer or anything. I don't like working with audio. I like good audio. I just don't like working with it because it's annoying. So, I mean... That's why I was kind of like a, kind of really irritated when that happened. What is happening on my screen? 
Oh. Someone went live on Twitch. So, anyway, I'm gonna finish the line work on this, the baseline work, not the full line work. And then I'm going to, uh, Call it here. Oop, don't want to do this. That's not like that. Oh. Call it here. And then I'm going to work on figuring out what the problem is in the audio department. And then I'm going to, hopefully, it will not happen tomorrow. Out of all days of the year, please not like random stuff happen tomorrow. Uh. So we're gonna try to be a little bit positive. Uh, uh let's see bars here there we go so I hope everybody's staying warm if you're in a place that gets cold I know a uh, place is over to the west of us or should be experiencing snow. I haven't heard nothing much about it in the like the the west, the northwest, like around the Washington, Dakota area. Are getting are getting like snow? Are they supposed to get snow? I haven't heard if they did or not. Um, let's hope they're uh staying warm. Like up 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 here. Uh, in good old Minneapolis, it is, uh, about 20, it was 23 degrees this morning. I think it went up to maybe 30 or something. I'm not sure. I haven't checked it. <clears throat> but it, it's, uh, nice and toasty in my, uh, my room because I have, I have little critters that I need to make sure they're warm and some of them are tropical. So they may need to make sure they're really warm. So, I'm actually going to make it slightly bigger. Yeah, it's at least bo it's more boring this way, but I think I have an idea of how to like make it more interesting so that's going to be the main bar but I, it's not going to be that much inter that very interesting If I can get Daya to watch a horror movie for Halloween, wonder how well that would go. Because first of all, she doesn't watch movies. Uh, she's one of those people that think movies are the devil and are uh, awful. But also, um, she doesn't like horror movies or horror. Although she has been slightly dipping her toe into more horror related things as of late. So I think it'd be really interesting to, uh, let's see if she wants. 
if she would like to watch a horror movie. Yeah. You're one of those you're one of those people that can't sit there and pay attention for stuff for very long. And don't say because you have ADD because I watch movies. I like movies. And I have ADHD. So like that can't be the issue. So it can't be attention span because again you would sit there and gladly watch a six hour video. Um you've you've mentioned it before until we shut you down. It's like that's not the issue. That's what most people say the issue is when they say they don't like movies. It's like, oh I can't pay attention to them. It's like maybe you haven't found a movie that is intriguing to you. Because again, if you can watch uh, like YouTube videos and stuff like that for multiple multiple hours, I believe you can watch a movie if it if it entices you. Oh. Uh, clip video just froze. Oh, there he is. He's back. Make sure to save that. So I'm actually going to make this on a separate one. What if a movie, what if you watch a movie that makes you think deeply? Doesn't make you flail around. Because again, you don't do that when you're watching a two hour analysis of something. So what if you're watching a movie that's more of an analysis of a character than something like a you know, you know, something that is less like that. So I think I have a really good Halloween movie that's probably going to freak you out, but in a good way and make you think a lot. That's why I, why I like it and why a lot of other people like it as well. But, uh, Because again, that's kind of why I like psychological horror over just standard slashers. Because although the slashers are fun in their own way, um, they don't really do much for me when it comes to like that. They're just like, all right, I I watched it. It's cool. Eh. I had fun while watching it. Oh, that's not where I want to put that at all. I'm going to be on the actual layer itself. And also, uh, again, sitting through a movie that's, I think, 119 minutes. Um, which is, you know, a little over two hours, but I think it's be fine. Are you watching it alone? Okay, well, what if, what if we did that? 
Because the thing about about it is, like movies, is that if you do sit there and pause it and think about it and start getting your idea, then the movie's going to answer it very quickly or towards the end of it. But I'm saying, like, what if you you have a there's a movie that will make you think because I think there is because you've sat there and watched movies before we went to we uh, all as a as a as a uh, your family and me all went to see the Mario movie earlier this year and you sat through it and watched it you actually wanted to watch it so what makes you think you can you know, you can't watch something that is that I think I I think you would like this. I think you would I think you would be able to sit through it. Um, and stuff, because like you know, not all horror movies are just mindless slashers. Some of them are like deep and methodical. A lot of the good ones are deep and methodical. And I would like I would like to uh, introduce some my friends to a movie that most people have already watched so I don't really get to introduce people to it but uh, one of my favorites and probably one of the best horror movies of all time but I'll see we'll try it Why do you want to flare, flare around? Like, I like to move around a lot. I can't sit still. You know I can't sit still. I I move all the time. But I don't like to flail around because I end up hurting myself if I do. You're actually, like, more like... Um like less movable than I am like I, I move constantly like I'm moving right now which I have to stop because it's shaking the screen um it's making it harder to draw but again it it, it mm. yeah I, get, I understand if you want to get up and go to the bathroom or whatever and kind of take a break from it if it's too much that's 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 perfectly fine, but I just don't I don't understand it. Cause I wanna I wanna do want to watch more movies with people who have uh good good like not a good opinions, but like just can talk about it in a more methodical way. But I don't have anybody that can do that. Well, I got a few people that can do that, but I don't live with them anymore. Uh, so I can't just go and say, hey, let's go watch a movie together. But yeah, let me drive 16 hours back home so I can do that. I don't really get that up here from anyone. Even my friends that I've made up here, I don't really get that from. They're kind of, yeah, that's good maybe. Or they just refuse to watch stuff. I don't know. Not a lot of people who like to really just hang out up here. I'm, I'm guess I'm just too methodical for most for 99% of the people that I hang out with. Oh. No, you're a good friend. You're a very, very good friend. Sometimes you try a little bit too hard, which I don't like. I like be, uh, people being themselves while around me. But I also like want a like and you are one of these that is more open-minded to try out different things 
that they may not like and it may not work like if i if i talk you into watching this horror movie that i have picked out that i want to watch and it just doesn't work out for you then it doesn't work out for you but you tried it and that's the main thing and again it's 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 stupid complaining at the end of the day like i have some really good friends up here um and they're not the same as the friends that i have back home and that's a and that's a good thing at the end of the day there it just makes stuff different but i do really miss having like very methodical conversations about media and stuff like that and i kind of wish i kind of that's one thing i do miss about it but i can't really call upon those those people at any given time to do it because they're very very busy yeah i mean i think that's it because you are a good friend like to everybody not just me to everybody everybody likes you like you don't have to like um like th again this is this is you know me just be you know being observant about everybody like everybody likes you so i think that is a little bit of insecurity i believe i'm not you so i don't really know and I'm not the end all be all of it, but everybody likes you. That's why people even come to my stream in the first place. Is because people like you. People like that you like that you set the vibe to it. Stuff that I'm not able to do. Um, but beyond that, you are you are a very good friend. You've gave me you know, you and you and your husband, both, have given me a lot. Like I'm not able to do this right here and do it and you know, be as well as it is without your help. And also you are there if I'm in a rut, if I need something, you're there. You put up with a lot. So I think you are a very good friend. Again, I don't want to try things with you because like I don't like watching movies and stuff by myself, but I have to. Um, you know, I don't like going to the movies by myself, but I do, uh, because no one wants, likes to watch the movies that I like to watch and that is okay. You shouldn't feel insecure about this sort of thing because you are, you're a, a, one of my best friends for a reason. Again, like, not everybody is the same. Not everybody can have the same interest. They don't need to be. It shouldn't be like that. Everybody should be their own own person at the end of the day. So I'm, 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 I'm not like, again, the stupid complaining that I'm doing is not like necessarily like, it's just stupid complaining at the end of the day. It doesn't mean anything. It's just me like, oh, I want something that I have back home, but I can't get anymore. But again, I like uh, trying new things out with people and such. And we do vibe on a lot of things. We both like survival games. Um, and you do... And you do get me into a lot of stuff. Like, you got me to go back to playing stuff like Minecraft and... Uh, playing Stardew Valley of course we I told her like hey do you want to try mods and stuff with Stardew Valley to make it more interesting because I've played through the beginning so many times and I introduced you to stuff like Alan Wake and I introduced you to stuff like American Truck Simulator which is bonkers that you actually enjoyed it as much as you did and still enjoying it and stuff like that so it again it is uh i mean it's not again it's nothing wrong with you i mean i just i really halloween is my favorite time of the year and it's the only time i really watch horror movies and i i i don't watch a lot of horror movies because they're kind of they're kind of boring and they're predictable and they're just jump scare fest 
Um, so there's very rarely that I'm interested in watching a horror movie nowadays, even though I love horror. Even most horror games are not really appealing to me that much, because again, they're just jumps to scare fest. But when again, when something does come out, then I take note of it. Like the game I'm playing tomorrow is a game I've been looking forward to for years that I played in, in like a very original state and um, was like just like I cannot wait till the full game is out I will wait until it is and I think it took like three years or something like that to uh, for it to finally come out so I, I cannot wait to jump into it and uh, I think it'd be a really good stream for Halloween because it fits with the season very well. Alright. Well, I'm having technical issues and I'm scared. And I want to go ahead and get those technical issues technical issues like figured out. And also we got a lot of stuff to do. I still gotta get the uh, Project Zomboy server for Friday working. Um YouTube starting to bug out again. I can hear it over there. Um, so I'm going to try to get this audio situation taken care of. Um, and everything else. So that tomorrow we have a good, clean, fun stream for Halloween. Because I have a lot of stuff I need to do to get that working. Because I have some surprises towards the end of the stream. Uh, that I want to try to showcase, try to get you know working so uh, I'm gonna end it here for today thank you guys for hanging out and listening to me blabbering on about stupid things <clears throat> for an hour and 30 minutes um, but the uh, the audio issue and the continuous audio issue that I have to constantly fix is kind of bumming me out a bit so I want to go ahead and try to try to uh, nip that in the bud uh, but this has been the stream of drawing yellow jacket from twisted metal for I guess a Halloween draw stream even though I haven't really been this is not technically a Halloween thing uh, this is part of the twisted metal series I have on Etsy I have a lot more of the cars available uh, including sweet tooth dark side crimson fury specter roadkill and I think that's it right now it's not that many of them but I'm working through them this is yellow jacket this is gonna be for sale sometime next month uh, but I want to show you something else uh, last I think last drawing stream I did Battletech which is another series I'm doing and it was of the longbow which I have completed uh, this is what the sticker is gonna look like I think it comes out in two weeks because I have Golden Fox coming out uh, this week and this will go out the next week following that and then yellow check will be right after that so that's what it looks like in all of its glory uh, I had a lot of fun with this one the, this one was done mostly on stream I think the colors and stuff were done outside of stream uh, but I would be doing a special thing for this one uh, not this upcoming Friday but the next Friday if everything goes well so look forward to that anyway Go back to Yellow Jacket and look what we drew. I will uh, see you guys Friday or tomorrow, actually, for the Halloween stream. It's going to start a little early. Uh, it's going to start a couple hours early. And it's going to be a little bit longer of a stream, hopefully, if everything goes well. So, you guys take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. It's getting cold outside. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care, guys.